Alright everyone, what's up? Oh, by the way, I change my shirt in every video, so I know what video belongs to what. So it seems a little awkward if you see me wearing one shirt in one video, and kind of see me wearing a blue shirt. This is a shirt Hulk Hogan would wear. Um, anyways, um, topic today is basically Hulk Hogan, and like, will, he even, will, the, will the WWE even acknowledge his death? Now, so far they're trying to erase him from history because that whole racial comment, and I know what he said. He said, he was on video, he said, my daughter's dating, you know, the N-word. Um, now, here's the thing. You're telling me that Hulk Hogan is the only wrestler to do something that's, you know, a little out of line. All these wrestlers do things that are out of line. I know Vince McMahon said the N-word at Survivor Series in 2005, I believe, when he was talking to John Cena. Um, Booker T said it. In a promo in WCW, you know, maybe Hulk Hogan said that out of frustration because he wanted Brooke to be with someone different, and people do that. They say something mean and out of line when they're mad or whatever. Now, calling Hulk Hogan a racist, I don't, we don't know if he's racist. I don't, I wouldn't say he's a racist. I mean, come on now, he's just one of those things, you know, because nowadays everyone looks at this rap music and looks at this these trends and what people do nowadays and they sell drugs and whatnot and everything now I'm not saying what he said was right what he said wasn't right at all but that was outside of wrestling it should not you know I mean I mean it's not like he killed it's not like he killed somebody and now they have to erase him from history like they did Chris Ben Wall but he's Hulk Hogan you cannot erase him from history and I know this is an old topic but I want to discuss this with you guys okay Hulk Hogan so you're telling me that WrestleMania 30, he never showed up there. He never body slammed Andre the Giant. He never made a return to the WWE. He never was part of the NWO. All the six, he never did the, the little um, hand thing. He never wore the um, red and yellow. He didn't face Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 6 or 7, I believe. Or Randy Savage or any of those guys. You're telling me that Hulk Hogan doesn't... There was no... History of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Now, as far as what he said, you know, I mean, he's an old man now. He's done everything with his life. You know, he's been, he's he just keeps messing up himself, going through a divorce and losing all his money. So he had to work for TNA. Now he's saying racial comments, being erased from history. So he got fired from the WWE for you know all that. And now. So since they can't have him on TV no more, if he dies, will they even acknowledge his death? Are they, are they going to take it that far to where, you know, oh, we don't know Hulk Hogan. If he died, who cares? Well, TNT and A will acknowledge him anyways. But so the biggest star in wrestling, Hulk Hogan, if he died, they're not going to acknowledge him just because of that one little comment. I mean, look at what they did to Bill Cosby over some stuff that happened 30 years ago, you know? <laughs> I mean... I mean, nobody's perfect. No one is perfect. And you're going to hear that from everybody. I'm not perfect myself. I, I do a lot of... I do, I do some stuff that's wrong, you know I mean? We all do bad stuff. We all have our demons, and we all say stupid things. I mean, it's how, it's how the world is. Religiously, the world's ran by the devil, you know? Now, I'm kind of being off topic there, but as far as what Hulk Hogan saying, one little comment. I mean, whatever happened to freedom of speech and being who you want to be and... Being proud of who you want to be and being happy with who you are, you know. Now they want to have some nonsense where they want to erase Hulk Hogan from history. Maybe not even acknowledge his death and just leave it at that, you know. It's just silly to me how they take things way too far nowadays. This is what social media has done to people. Because of one little comment, Hulk Hogan's career is over. I mean, it's not like he said he was a KKK member or anything like that. I mean, I'm not black. Maybe I don't really know how it feels. But, I mean, everyone has racial things to say. Mexicans are racist, black people are racist, white people are racist. There's a lot of racism in the world. It's just how it is. And sometimes you'll say something that's a lot of line. I mean, I have racial humor. I say racial jokes here and there, but I don't mean it in a, in a racist way. You know what I mean? I joke about rap songs and this and that. But I mean, we all have some kind of racial humor. And if you don't, you don't. But I mean, I, uh, I've had my moments where I've said something racial and stupid, but I, I do have black friends and Hispanic friends and I kind of say mean things sometimes, but that's just how it is, you know? Frustration can really make you a stupid person sometimes. But I'm just saying, will they acknowledge his death for this? Is Hulk Hogan really gone, far from the WWE? Are they, if he died, would they really care? That's all I'm saying. Have a nice day, and bye.